guys, I'm Ava and this is Ian. We're with the Tree Frog Department here at Joshua Sprogs. Hello everyone. Today we are going to be going over the top 10 things you need to take home before bringing home a red-eyed tree frog. I'm super excited to jump in this topic with you guys. Let's get started. Ian has put together this tank we have here to show you what your setup should look something like. All the red-eyed tree frog frogs you get here at Josh's Frogs will be at least three months old eating quarter-inch crickets and look a little something like this. So Ian, I'm thinking about getting a tree frog. I don't even know where to start. Well first, you should check out the Josh's Frog website to see the different kinds of captive bred frogs we offer. If you've already settled on a tree frog, the red-eyed tree frog is a great start. These frogs are not only one of the most stunning animals in the entire world, their moderately easy care make them a great pet for any level of amphibian enthusiasts. These guys come from the rainforest of Central America. They're known for their bulgy, bright red eyes, and I'd personally say they're one of the most famous frogs, but I might be a little biased. The first thing you're gonna wanna consider when purchasing one of these frogs is what kind of tank you're gonna be putting them into. Ava, what kind of tank would you recommend? Well, Ian, for these guys, you can start off with something small, but I wouldn't go any smaller than a 10 gallon equivalent. But you can always go big right away with an 18, 18, 24, which is what we have here, which can fit two to four adult frogs. Once you have the terrarium, the second thing you'll want to consider is the substrate. Here we start off with a drainage layer of hydrogen about an inch and a half thick, followed by a substrate barrier and our own Josh's Frogs tropical bio bedding. The bio bedding helps hold humidity in the tank and helps maintain a healthy community of microfauna. On top of the bio bedding, we have a, about an inch thick layer of pushed down sphagnum, which also helps humidity in the tank. Speaking of microfauna, Ian, what else do we need for our red eye? I highly recommend adding isopods and springtails gently below the sphagnum moss layer within your bio um, active setup. These insects will help eat any growing mold, decaying plants, or any of your pet's waste. Here at Dresser's Frogs, we have a variety of different isopods, but for this video, I chose the dwarf white isopods, specifically because of their small size and their ability to easily reproduce. These insects will help maintain the cleanliness of your cage, which makes life easier on you and your frog. Ava, I love the plants you picked out for this tank. Um, why'd you pick these for these red eyes? Well, I picked the snake plant here in the back, as well as the dracaena up here in the corner, as well as the banana plant over there because of their sturdy, large leaves. This is important specifically for red eyes because they like to sleep on the underside of leaves and you'll want a leaf that can hold their weight. These plants also do well in humid environments, which we are trying to replicate here. You'll want to keep the humidity in your tank between 60 and 70%, which is easily obtainable with daily mistings. The fifth thing you're going to want to add is some kind of bark or wood to give the cage some solid structures. I like using cork bark because it gives the red-eyed tree frog something solid to perch on while they are active at night. Hollow cork bark is also going to be used too because you're able to use it as a placeholder for specific plants like this dracaena here. Um, the cork bark allows you to raise your plants a little higher in the cage where they might not naturally grow to. The sixth thing that is on our list is adding some type of water dish here. For red eyes, they do not need to be that deep, just something wide enough and shallow enough for the frogs to be able to um, soak in at night if they want to. That leads us to the seventh thing on our list, which is the combo meter. Here we have an Exoterra brand combo meter, which will hang into the inside of your tank and it will tell you the humidity and temperature within your tank. Like I said previously, you'll want to keep your humidity between 60 and 70 percent, as well as temperature around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Most people keep their houses at about this temperature, so you don't need to worry about a heat lamp. However, if you're going to keep your frog in a cooler environment, I definitely recommend adding a heat lamp and heat bulb to this list. Next, we want to talk about the lighting. Here we have the compact top made by Exoterra, and inside it has the Reptile UVB 100 light, as well as the natural light. This will help give your frogs a natural day-night cycle. So you'll want to unplug this at night and turn it on during the day. I recommend getting a digital timer, which will do all of that for you. The last two things we're going to need are crickets and supplements. Here at Drush's Frogs, we have a wide variety of feeders that you can purchase online. Um, but for these red-eyeds, we typically feed them banded crickets. Whatever you decide to feed your frog, we also recommend getting some kind of supplement regimen um, to dust your crickets with. For supplements, we recommend using calcium with vitamin D, calcium without vitamin D, and some form of multivitamin. We like to use Repashi Calcium Plus, RepCal Calcium with Vitamin D, and RepCal Herptivite. Red-eyed tree frogs are nocturnal, so I recommend feeding them at night. 
Wow, Ian, that's a lot of information. What was number one again? Don't worry, all of this information is on our website, along with a lot of other cool information on other tree frogs. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is our video of top 10 things you need before bringing home a red-eyed tree frog. If you like the video, give it a like, a comment, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on anything new. Thanks so much for watching this video. Here at Josh's Frogs, bringing nature to your doorstep is more than just our mission, it's our passion. We want you to have the most successful experience possible, so we're going to be here for you before, during, and after your purchase. Whether that's with our captive bred animals, plants, insects, or the wide variety of their care products on our website. You always have access to our dedicated customer service team, on-site nature experts, hundreds of free articles via our blog, and many more videos right here on our YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe. We're always happy to help. Just shoot us an email or give us a call. You can find all of this information and more at joshesfrogs.com. Thanks again and see you next time.